I have this uh, latching relay out of my RV. It's made by a company called Intellitech, and they do these battery, um, well, these switching, um, well, latching relays for RVs, boats, and and that sort of thing. Uh, this one actually I had just purchased an RV used and the reason why it's out is that it, it had malfunctioned. Um, what happened was it had stuck in the on position, uh, drained my deep cycle batteries and uh, over the winter they froze so that's uh, I'll have to get some new batteries but that is a common problem with these these relays so kind of watch out for that they can be repaired though and uh, that sort of thing could be prevented too as you if you look carefully here you can see I've replaced the screws on the bottom of this with just regular Robertson screws uh, took it apart cleaned it out and uh, lubricated it and uh, that fixed the problem and now as you can see it latches correctly if I go to use Go to use. Okay, turn it on. Or sorry, store. And I go to use. Oh, sorry. What's going on here? Oh. No problem when I moved it around there. Anyhow, I could turn it off. So you can see I can turn it on. And turn it off and I've just got my uh, my voltmeter hooked up here across these contacts just on the continuity setting just to verify that it's latching correctly uh, which you can see it is and you can hear it clicking on and off um, this is the BD zero model um, and uh, the wiring is pretty straightforward I'll we'll just kind of go over that really quickly right now um, it uses a double pole, a double pole, dual throw, momentary switch, uh, and this is the setup right here. So you've got your 12 volts on um, on the top and bottom lug. Okay, so let's have a look back here, and you can see I've got from my um, power supply I've got my 12 volts if you look on the traces there you can see that it's on the this lug right here and then of course the ground goes around and is on this bottom lug so we've got positive and negative on these two uh, contacts and you can see that's what I have set up in this diagram here just like so and the uh, the output going to your to your latching relay is going to be coming off these two middle uh, contacts which you can see here are if you look at the traces on this board are the white and if you follow the yellow around you could see that it comes off this middle one here so the white and the yellow come and they connect to uh, your relay just to these contacts here the contacts on the front here are what control the the switching of the relay uh, and these contacts on the side uh, will connect your batteries together uh, or disconnect them and um, I might do another video of how uh, how those are hooked up more specifically but anyhow so that's the setup uh, the with these dual pole dual throw momentary switches uh, there they can be hooked up in this clever way where you can actually reverse polarities so you know in the middle position which I've got here we can see that uh, when the switch is in the middle position nothing is nothing is connected so <clears throat> um, yeah now in the up position what happens is we connect these two together 
and you can see that the positive is connected to this terminal, to this middle terminal, which makes this side positive, and the negative, which is coming in here, goes and jumps across, comes out this side. So we have negative and positive. So that's when the switch is uh, in the up position, that's the polarity there. Now we also have a, a down position. Let's see what happens when we connect these contacts together in the down position. Now uh, we have our positive coming in here, scoots across to this contact and out this way, so that makes this side positive. And the negative comes in uh, through this side up here, which makes this side negative. So it's kind of a clever way of um, um, reversing polarities, polarities momentarily. Uh, pretty um, interesting. You find this sort of arrangement in guitar uh, pickups as well. If you have a, uh, if you want to switch the phase of a pickup, you'll see this exact same arrangement for these dual pull, dual throw switches. Um, and I believe actually they might be slightly different because they might be dual pull single throw so either in an up position or in a down position the difference here is that this switch is momentary so uh, as you can push it down momentarily but it'll always go back to that middle position so it'll always go back to this middle position here where you don't have any power on these contacts and the reason for that is of course this is a latching relay uh, it does not require constant power to keep it um, to keep the contacts connected, and that's uh, if you were to open one of these up, you would see how that works. Just got a little pin. That's what this sort of structure here is. On top, it's got this little pin that you know when you uh, turn it on, it sort of jams jams the switch in the j down position, and when you reverse the polarity, it because the polarity is reversed and this pin is magnetic it pushes it out of the way and um, since the plunger is on a spring it forces it back up so anyhow uh, and you know you know if you just wanna you wanna demonstrate that really simply we can just do that really quickly um, you can just if you wanna do a quick test to see if this thing is working properly and that's actually how I found that it wasn't is just take a um, if you just take your positive and negative here and if you just go and touch it to the contacts so that's I'm not sure if that's on or off but it doesn't really matter uh, if you reverse now then of course it'll go the other way and you can hear it unlatching. So anyways, uh, <clears throat> that's how to test one of these things and verify that it's working. Um, there is one more wire that's commonly found on these. Uh, it's a little confusing um, and that is just to operate the LED on this front panel here because it of course has one of these uh, LEDs that just lets you know uh, if you're in the user store uh, um, position and that uh, comes off of one of these fuses here so uh, it's it's a fairly simple setup as you can see on the back here if we look at this more carefully we can see that the LED <clears throat> is hooked in here uh, through a little resistor and that's on the negative so that's the negative you know, you can follow the negative uh, trace all around here, goes through the LED, and then comes back through this trace here. So on um, trace number two right here would be your LED hookup. And uh, the way that works is essentially it's hooked to one side of, I believe it's this side, of the, uh, of the relay so that, <clears throat> you know, You've always got uh, negative power 
uh, you've already got you always have this hooked up to the ground or the negative side of the ba battery and um, it when this relay latches in the on position this is connected to the positive side of one of your deep cycle setups it will uh, there's another wire that attaches to this side and it's actually hooked to this second um, trace right here so you get a complete completed circuit there and the LED turns on when uh, this thing is latched on the, the kind of thing I find weird about it though is um, I mean these fuses are just kind of whacked in here and they don't actually have a proper um, see if I can get it to focus they don't as you can see they don't have really a proper socket they only have one connection on this side and the kit doesn't really come for a way for you to hook that LED wire up to the side of the fuse what you have to do is just kinda take the fuse out and jam the wire down in there to hook it up I find that a little bit strange um, personally I would never hook anything up like that and I'm probably gonna modify that personally I'll I'll put a proper um, connection onto here and then put it back in my RV and everything will work properly but yeah these are a common um, a common trap for for young players in the RV world and uh, you can buy these new it's the exact same setup uh, they've been making these since the 80s and uh, if you buy one today it's literally the exact same setup so you know if you do have a problem with it you should be able to uh, figure it out uh, and the other thing is that they this is the simplest model of this setup but you know if you understand the way this one works the BD1 uh, and the BD2 should be fairly straightforward for you to figure it out. Anyways, thanks for watching um, and uh, hope you liked the video.